Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Earlier this year, the East African country Uganda made international headlines for yet again penalizing LGBTQ people, even more so than they already have, legalizing the death penalty for what they call aggravated homosexuality. You heard that right. They're killing gay people in East Africa in 2024. Of course, these laws are terrifying and blatant religious discrimination because they are based on Christian and Muslim belief systems that were forced on the Ugandan people by British and Muslim invaders. These laws are now in 2024 being upheld by black Ugandans themselves, so there really is no excuse. What many Christian and Muslim Ugandans would like to forget is that before their ancestors were forced to convert to Christianity and Islam by pain of death during colonization, there were many people groups that embraced gender diversity and same-sex marriages in Uganda. Here's just a quick list of five Ugandan ethnic groups that celebrated gay marriage and trans identities prior to European colonization. The Lango People According to the incredibly informative book, Boy Wives and Female Husbands, British anthropologist Jack Dryberg had several encounters with Ugandan informants and several people groups who had gender diverse roles for people born male, including the Lango people, a Nilotic tribe north of Lake Kwanya. Throughout the 1920s, Dryberg would observe, quote, impotence is the basis for assuming the alternative gender role, mudaku daku. Yes, the Lango people had a word for trans women, Mudaku Daku. The Mudaku Daku could marry men and were treated and lived as women. He did observe that this role was rare, close to 50 out of 17,000 people. But this only makes it clear that yes, LGBTQ people are a minority group within all ethnic groups that should be protected, not persecuted. The Iteso people. The British anthropologist Jack Ryberg was also told by his local informants that the practice of men becoming women was also common amongst the Iteso people, a large ethnic group that lived in modern-day Uganda and Kenya. Another anthropologist, Jeremy Lawrence, said amongst the Iteso that, quote, people of hermaphroditic instinct are very numerous, end quote. He would go on to elaborate in detail to say these men would walk, speak, dress, and adorn themselves as women. He would also note that group masturbation was also reported amongst male Itesos youth. The Baganda people. The Baganda people are an ethnic group and kingdom that was central to governing the great Ugandan groups that would become modern day Uganda. This group of people are sometimes called the King's Men because of the importance of the Kabaka king role of the Baganda people. One of the most popular Baganda kings in their history was King Wanga II an openly bisexual king who ruled the Baganda kingdom and fought against British colonization from 1884 to 1888. Mwanga II was very open about having 16 wives, but also having a sexual relationship with many of his young male pages, many of which would have been his age considering he became King Kabaka at age 16. Ironically today, homophobic Pan-Africans would deny the reality of LGBTQ identities and ignore that Mwanga II, an openly bisexual king, was renowned for his fight against British and Muslim colonization. Many of his male pages and followers converted to Christianity and Islam at the pain of death, and eventually Mwanga was overthrown. Isn't it sad that African leaders refused to see the correlation between British Christian colonization and its connection to the persecution of LGBTQ identities? Gay and trans Ugandans were killed for resisting British colonization, and African Ugandans uphold these colonial laws all these years later. The Karamajan people The Karamajan people were once herding people who lived in northeast Uganda. They are mostly Christian today, but had their own indigenous spiritual beliefs prior to colonization. This is another one of the tribes who track Dryberg was told by informants that they had many instances of gay marriage amongst them, as well as trans identities like men who became and lived as women after their puberty. The Bahima people. The Bahima or Hima people are a smaller Ugandan ethnic group that reside in Northwest Uganda today. In the 1920s, British anthropologist Jack Dryberg had informants in Uganda from the Nkole people who claimed, though their own people didn't practice homosexuality, they did tell the anthropologist that they were aware that the Bahima people practice homosexuality. I have to say, though, that it's pretty clear to me that all these informants were very intent on pointing the finger to other ethnic groups, saying they practice gay relationships, but we don't. And this is very telling. 
it was clear that by the 1920s, many of these informants would be aware that gay sex and trans identities were taboo to British people, and for their own safety would likely not incriminate themselves and get into legal trouble with the British.